So my name is Daniel de Hopman and I'm a final year medical student at Monash University. I currently have about 10 weeks to go in my medical degree before commencing my job as a doctor at the Royal Melbourne Hospital next year. Maybe a little bit about my background. So I was born in South Africa and brought up in far north Queensland in Cairns and I came down to Monash, Monash for University six years ago. After my pre-clinical years, I decided to take a year off to do an honours year of research at the University of Oxford, focusing on bioethics and public policy, two things I'm very passionate about. I had always had an interest in the humanities, and it was amazing to explore critical issues in philosophy with some of the best, uh, best professors in the world. When I came back to Australia, I entered the Rural Clinical Training Program at Monash and did a year out in Mildura and a year in Bendigo as well and had a fantastic time practicing rural medicine and seeing some of the differences of applying care in a rural setting when compared to the city. I've explored some policy interests with the Australian Medical Student Association and the International Federation of Medical Students and I've also explored my interest in business through rolling out a digital ID product through for the Australian government as well as at completing an internship with the Boston Consulting Group's healthcare practice in Sweden, where we work to use novel digital health tools to improve outcomes for diabetic patients uh, in Ontario in Canada. I come to Medview and Crimson because of a passion for education and health and a desire to demystify the process of applying to medical school. As someone coming from a rural background, I didn't understand the medical system. I didn't understand how to apply interstate. I didn't think I had a chance of getting out into Monash and yet I was fortunate enough to make my way there through a combination of luck and mentors guiding me through the process. I think that every student should have the right uh, and opportunity to apply to whatever medical school they want and I believe Medview is the best way for them to do that and I'm proud to help uh, Medview move forward across Australia and New Zealand. Medicine as a career is an incredibly rewarding pathway both from a professional standpoint and a personal standpoint. I think every day you see things that may be very challenging and often represent um, either a very jo joyous or a very terrible moment in an individual's life. And whatever that might be and whatever the outcome might be, I think it's a privilege to be a witness to that and to be able to walk into work every day and uh, be exposed to those elements of the human experience. I know many of my colleagues, that's why they start, they, I think that's why most people go into medicine is a desire to help others and to help them through those times, whether they be a good or a bad period in their life. Alongside that, medicine is a financially rewarding career. And I think it's an important um, fact to recognize. Uh, when someone works so hard, it's important to be able to provide for your family and to be able to uh, live a life that um, you can do the things that you want to do, whether it be travel, whether it be extracurricular activities. And continuing to live a balanced life um, throughout your career is important, and uh, money certainly helps to do that. In Australia specifically, I think um, the work culture for doctors is really attractive, and we see a variety of, my fr a variety of doctors at the hospital, including my current registrar, uh, come over from the United Kingdom. And my registrar had said something to me the other day uh, that the, in the UK there are roughly half the doctors for the amount of, that we have in Australia. And I think that has a significant effect on um, your ability to work and look after patients to the full range of your ability. Uh, and you're also paid more as well. And it is nice to be rewarded for your work whilst we don't go into medicine for money. When we cover the, onto, your, onto the second point of the question, which is looking at the return on investment for students interested in Ivy Leagues or Oxford or Cambridge, Look, I'm no expert on that process at all. I've studied medicine in Australia, but I can say that I think every student is different and those are certainly options that some might like to consider. From my own experience studying uh, philosophy and bioethics at Oxford, I loved being in a multidisciplinary environment where I got to think about complex philosophical problems every day. And maybe in a different life, I would have done politics, philosophy and economics, the PPE degree at Oxford, if I'd known that that was available to me upon exiting high school. I have no regrets for going into medicine in Australia and it's opened up so many opportunities for me, whether it be going to the World Health Organization, and speaking in front of ministers of health there, which I was you know, privileged to do, or walking, um, walking across Antarctica uh, with one of my very close friends for a non-profit as a medic. Those are experiences that were only available to me as a medical student, but equally 
going to the Ivy Leagues or Oxford and Cambridge offers different types of experiences. And weighing up the options, those options will be something that every student will need to go through with their family uh, and consider what is right for them and what is right for their career. From a perspective of financial cost, medicine in Australia can be expensive for people, particularly when you're moving city. For me, I had to move from regional Queensland to Melbourne, and Melbourne is a very expensive city, much like Sydney, and uh, that, was, that was difficult. I'm fortunate to be in a family where between their support and my own individual work, I was able to support myself. Um, but it's important to consider the cost of moving city and even though you, can, you should be able to put your fees on hex, that is still money that you will have to pay back over time. And uh, students may, may, may do well to consider uh, whether traveling overseas might offer an equally interesting opportunity and one that they could receive financial aid for or support for. And Crimson could certainly help them with that journey. As I said, just to bring it all together, every student's journey is different. Everyone needs to think about where they want their career to go. And in the end, all of these options are good ones. They all offer, open different doors and they all offer different opportunities. I think the beauty about a medical career, or the great thing about a medical career, is that there are so many things you can go into. You can become a surgeon, intervening and fixing people um, in critical situations. Uh, you could become a cardiologist looking after the complex management of people's hearts whilst doing interventional procedures using um, interesting new technologies uh, to cure things in someone's heart that previously required open heart surgery. You could become a general practitioner being the central point of care in someone's life, looking after someone all the way from where they are born and throughout their entire lifespan as well as their entire family and community around them. You can be a psychiatrist, uh, someone who helps those with um, mental, with those people with mental illness to uh, restore some restore function and to uh, live happier, healthier lives. And I think that diversity is really attractive. You know, within medicine, we ca you can you can cater to any personality and um, any 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 sort of desire of what you might like to explore. Different types of medicine involve more communication with people. Others, like pathology or radiology, enable you to pursue excellence. Um, in a very discreet field, in a very specific field, I should say. And as an aside, then you know maybe you don't want, maybe you want to explore interest in research or science, and to contribute to the uh, pursuit of human advancement and the pursuit of new medical technologies and new drugs. And you can do all of that whilst combining it with a clinical career as well. Ultimately, as well, I think the role of a doctor, well, the role of all doctors, are to advocate for the health of their patients both in the hospital and in the community, and maybe in the press as well. Uh, and in addition, I think the role of a doctor is to be a teacher. Doctors pass on their knowledge to medical students, they pass on their knowledge um, to members of society and to patients as well. And to continue to have that sense of leadership in that community, um, to advance the community's interests, and to improve their lives of patients. Uh, and that is the, the joy of being a doctor. I think for anyone who's considering medicine and might be on the fence, you know, it's important to recognise that medicine isn't always a, uh, a happy or a uh, happy career path where everything goes well. There are times when things don't go well. One story that comes to mind is a time when I was working in an emergency department and a man came in with some diarrhoea and he thought he might have had food poisoning and we investigated things and a few hours later, after a variety of tests and procedures, it turned out that he actually had end-stage cancer and this is something that he wasn't aware of. And it came down to myself as well as a registrar to go and tell him that, that news uh, along with his wife who was there. This man had a young daughter who was 11 and another one who was 16 uh, and you know, he'd come in thinking he had food poisoning and was wanting some antibiotics and uh, we had to tell him that actually you're in the terminal stages of cancer uh, and you, know, you may not have a very long time to live. And I think delivering that news was an incredibly moving and difficult experience. Of course, it's nothing in comparison to what he must have felt like, but it was really challenging to sit down with the registrar and deliver this news that was about to completely uh, overturn the whole family's life and throw their throw their plans into chaos and also to uh, tell a mother and two young children that their father you know, may not be with them for very long. 
But overall, you know, I was with him for that whole period of time, from the initial point where I had a conversation to the time in which we told him this news. And I think you know, he appreciated that he had someone there who understood and had talked to him and had taken the time to understand uh, where he was coming from and his symptoms. And you know, we shared something really special that day. While I will never understand what it was, must have been like for him to feel that, I was witness, I did witness a very challenging moment and something that I think is profoundly human. And that really speaks, to go back to medicine and the career as a doctor, of the diversity in the experience of a doctor. Many days you'll be doing paperwork. Um, many days you'll be doing things that you might not think are incredibly fun. But then, you know, every now and again, moments like that pop up where you think, wow, this is a really unique career where I'm being exposed to things that I could never have been dreamed of, and never, could, could never have dreamed of, and where I feel really privileged uh, to be in that situation. And I think that's why, if that is a, something that appeals to you, to be challenged and to be pushed to help people in the good times and the bad, I would highly recommend you, you do medicine because there's no career that is more rewarding when it comes to such experiences. Look, I think applying for medical school can be a really daunting process, particularly when uh, you go to a school that might not have the best career, career, career support or might not have counsellors that are particularly familiar with applying to medical school, particularly medical schools that are outside of that, of that city. And it is complex in some ways. You have the UMAT test, you have interviews, you obviously have your school grades, which are very important, as well as extracurricular involvement and looking to show that you are really passionate about pursuing medicine as a career path. That process is very daunting when you're trying to consider how to balance a social life with your high school marks and also looking to play sport or perhaps debating or play music as well. And for me, it's really important that we try to support students as much as possible uh, when they're going along that journey and also trying to standardize and equalize uh, the access to information and services uh, when it comes to medical school consulting. For too long, I think, uh, some of the most prestigious schools in Sydney and Melbourne have been able to dominate this process because for them, the career counsellors have got many students into medical school before and they understand uh, what it takes or what students need to do to guarantee success. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. And actually, I think it's fantastic that those students have support, but we want to make sure that every student who wants to be a doctor can maximise their chances of success and ultimately fulfil their dream of caring for people. Now Medview can really help in demystifying the process of med medical school admissions and assisting every student along their journey, wherever, wherever that may be. It's looking at making sure that you're able to enhance the strengths that you have at particular areas of the admission process, as well as working on any particular weaknesses. As an example, for myself personally, I was really weak at Section 3 in the UMAT. Uh, I enjoyed section one and two. I, I found it quite interesting to read long passages of text and uh, I was able to generally pick out the right answer. But for section three, I just had no idea what the right answer was. And I, I, as a result, I performed really poorly in the test on the day. Ultimately, coming to Medview though, I've seen that section three is interestingly the section that students can improve most at. Uh, and I know that some students, that students out there that could really do with the support of having the best UMAT tutors and mentors to help them through the process and similarly to help them through any part of the admissions, uh, admissions process, whether it be interviews or whether it be scholarships or whether it be extracurricular consulting. So I just think that every student's journey is different and having support, having support uh, really helps you to maximise your chances of success and will put you on a journey towards your dream of being a doctor. Thank you.